Hello YouTube! Let's learn how to grab specific files from some directory and how to uh, zip it. So we are zipping it into a same zip archive. We are not uh, zipping it into individual archives. Like you have five original files and you have five uh, different zip uh, archives. Only one big archive. So our target will be our targets will be this Python here scripts I have. You can practice whatever using whatever you have, textual files, um, source code of some programming language, HTML pages, something like that. So we're gonna zip zip it into, for example, all pies because that's extension. So we need to do a couple of things here. First, we need to uh, list all content. And uh, before that, we need to create blank zip file. And after we list everything into a directory, we need to search for a specific extension and only then write to a new archive. So we're going to use import uh, zip file. I mean, we're going to use zip file model. And we will create a new blank uh, zip archive. So handle zip file zip file z and f must be uppercase if you don't do that the script will fail and let's pass pass uh, to it name of future file which will be all pies something like that and of course we need to specify that we will write to it now after you are done with all operation if you want to see results if you want to see this script successful you're gonna close it close that file so handle close but in the meantime we need to do a lot of job i mean it's not a lot of lot of it's not scary but a couple of lines in for loop so to do listing we're gonna need os model because in os model there is a function listed here which will help us to grab listing of first level listing of specific directory so if or for x in os list dir and you don't need to specify here any parent parameters you can basically because a script our script is in place where uh, our original files reside so you don't need to change directories there i mean you can do that but you don't need to do that i mean we will uh, we'll actually do another case when we will change directories anyway where i was yeah, so for x in, in listing, uh, if x, and that means that specific file from listing, if uh, it ends in, ends with uh, specific extension, then and only then we will write to all pi zip archive. So write write what write that line from report which will be file with extension pi and let's spec specify compress compression type here so compress type zip file and you must you must do that here because if you don't specify it like exactly what it is the script will not work uppercase zip de deflated so that's how it is let me arrange this a little bit and now let's run our script to see what's happening okay no errors okay let's see all pi is there let's copy paste it to for example desktop to check actual results extract all Mm, there you go. We have our and only files with Python extensions. So let's see, can we open it? Yep. Yep, there you go. They work. So let's uh, now do example when we need to change directory. For example, we're going to go to DLLS and in that folder we have a bunch of a PUDs, uh, Python extension modules. So let's grab them and let's pack them. Okay, so 
new f archive will be all PUD and now let's force this script to that specific um, directory using change dir os change dir so that file is that folder is python 3732/dlls and we will search for PUDs so i think we are cool the rest of the thing is same source must be saved so no errors okay let's check our result and there you go all PUDs let's open it in new window and there you go we have all those Python extension modules here and yeah also ratio how how they are compressed the percent of of compression so that's pretty pretty much cool for textual files for um, source code of some programming languages for uh, web pages and stuff CSS JavaScript yeah but if you are compressing something which is already encoded or compressed then maybe you will not get a level of compression so anyway relatively simple stuff if you need if you uh, have some kind of question please ask in the comments and if I don't know someone else will respond so as always thank you for watching for support and for sus subscription subs uh, yeah subscription uh, my English is sometimes weird anyway see you next tutorial